Okay. Is who do we think will leave their current club first? Um, who, who who's more likely to move? First, start first because obviously George can start, yeah. start yes well obviously it's well known that both players are, are linked with big teams obviously you've got your Real Madrid you've got Man City as well PSG, well, PSG obviously for Poland in that case I think for me personally the one who would probably leave first for me I'd say Haaland but in, in my opinion I don't think he should be moving on I think he needs to get, have maybe another two maybe two seasons at Dortmund just to get to get consistent really because he bear in mind his career has been quite it's been quite fast paced obviously because bear in mind he, he, wasn't, he wasn't at Salzburg all that long and he, he's obviously he started at Mould then he went to Salzburg now he's, at, he's on his third club already and, and he's how old is he now Harland he's only just 20 he's only just hit, he's, he's, he's 20 which is quite early for a player to be moving clubs that early and he, he needs to settle down with Dortmund and get used to playing at a high level while I think with Mbappe I think He's already at, he's been obviously he was starting playing for Monaco before he joined PSG. He's obviously the main international with France, obviously currently, and Mbappe obviously he's a settled maybe like he's settled in in like in in, in the PSG side. Up, I mean in that case maybe you could see Mbappe moving on in terms of like maybe wanting to change his career, maybe trying to just try something different. And obviously there's clubs in around in around for him really. So I, I think early on. I, I, I part part of it I do agree with you with um the whole Haaland situation. The reason why for me I think Haaland will probably leave first is mainly due to his agent in Mina Raiola. Like Raiola is very well known for having clients who move on quickly in their careers. We've got the likes of Ibrahimovic, who's been at loads of clubs during his career, like Pogba, for example, he left from Man United. Um, youth Acad- youth- Man United's Youth Academy went to Juventus spent two, three seasons there went straight back to United and now he's in the process of potentially leaving Man United Like and then he got Balotelli as well he got Balotelli, Balotelli he's le- left yeah. loads of clubs in his career like if normally when you're an associate with with um, Mino Raiola he's known for um, getting a- loads of agent fees with with Moving on his players quickly in his career. Well, it's, so like, his, it's not really that, that, that's it's not really to for the exactly. really, it's not really for his benefit, it's more for Royola's benefit. So so f- I do agree with you with like if if um Erling Haaland was gonna um elevate his career, maybe he would I I do agree. He he would have to I I think he should stay at Dortmund um for at least a season, a season or two. Maybe win a Bundesliga, help him win a Bundesliga. But exactly, that's true. For, but for me, mainly due to his agent, I really see him leaving in the next. It, maybe I don't see him. If I'm going to be honest, I don't see him moving in the summer because I, I highly doubt they'll. It, it's very well known that um, Jaden Sancho is going to leave in the summer. It's very well documented. I highly doubt. So, um, Dortmund would let go both Haaland and so- Sancho in the same window. I know they've got a lot of money problems at the moment, but letting go of two of their star players. Now they've got the likes of Reiner coming through, um, the Bellingham, got, Bellingham. Bellingham. Bellingham coming through. That um, that young striker, um, I, I don't know how to pronounce his name, but one of the, they've got the young striker that's coming through the yeah, academy at the Bellingham. moment, yeah. but. I really doubt they're gonna let their their two headline names go in the same window. So for me, I'd say Mbappe is probably most likely to go in the summer. He's, he has said that he would want a new challenge. What that club is next? Well, we'll his see. Contracts up in a few years, isn't it? That's why exactly. um, he might be angling for a move. And the way I see, it, basically, we could put it down to is really Mbappe should be the one to move on first. But mm. I feel Haaland's probably the one, the one who's going to move on first because of the, of the agent situation. That's what I, I don't think. think. I don't think Mbappe. I don't think Mbappe will leave this summer. I don't think Haaland will leave this summer. But if I, I think. Do, well, PSG will Mbappe to sign a new deal because his contract's out soon. So yeah, I think in this current climate, it depends how desperate both clubs is for money. Because PSG in this PSG current climate, are not desperate for money. PSG exactly. So. In this current climate, 
Um, you're going to be getting both players for pennies, according to how it could potentially be. You could Obviously, argue... You got, you got COVID as well. That, that was Exactly. Off on the, you could argue with Haaland, um, you probably want to sell him off now for a higher, a higher price because not next season, the season after his release clause com- comes into play in 2022. I think it's around um, 60 to 80 million, um, his, his release clauses. So you could argue that if clubs are desperate to get him um, as soon as, when, when he's a bit more expensive, maybe like Dortmund would, would want to let him go in, in this summer so they get more money compared to how much they'll be getting in 2022. So that's another factor. I think... I honestly think, personally, I think Haaland, Wolves' decision will be just on how Dortmund start performing. If mm. Dortmund do really well in the Champions League this season, I mean, you know, I don't think they'd win it, but you never know. They, they could do, you know. They're, they're free to up against Sevilla. So, and there's teams in there that they could beat because they've got the players too. They might just focus on the Champions League. So, if I had to pick who I think, who I agree with most who's going to leave, I, I do think, I think Haaland will leave first. Yeah, I think, yeah, I think we both. I think the Harlan question will, is, what yeah, we should yeah. talk about, what club, what club do you see them going to next in their career? Um, well, obviously, obviously with, with, with there's obviously some jokey things going on at Liverpool link with Mbappe. I mean, depending on our season this season, I'm, 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 it's become less likely for me. You can't rule it out because of maybe COVID rules, and obviously, if, if we sell the right players, we could maybe go in for him. But obviously, Real Madrid, you, you can't write them off for any sort of transfer. Obviously, with both Mbappe and Haaland, they're obviously looking for the next big thing. And, I mean, I, I'd love it if if. Man United got, I know it won't, so it's, it's not going to happen, but if Man United got Mbappe and Haaland, oh my God. That would, be like, that would be like, I mean, I think... I think if, like, it wouldn't really work. I think, like, for me, when it comes to looking at as a United fan, I prefer Haaland than Mbappe because there's a lot of similarities in... I'm not saying he's better, but there's a lot of similarities in Rashford's game than... Mbappe, they're, they're very identical in their style of play, and we don't need Mbappe. We wouldn't take Mbappe, then they can play to Haaland. For Liverpool, personally, I, I think Mbappe would probably work well. I, I'd, had, I'd have either, to be fair, obviously based on the quality that they have, but I think Mbappe would suit our style of play more. Obviously, with, with the strikers that we have, obviously, we're quite fast on the counter and. Like, like the, both like Mane and it's say if we sold Firmino obviously for like Mbappe would probably slot in the centre maybe it's like in that area and he'd have he'd have that low centre of gravity and like and the sort of fast dribbling style that we our attackers have really yeah. and obviously I know they're not showing it this season but if, if you can maybe change that to sort to suit Mbappe then it might be quite beneficial for us but yeah yeah. well as I said I, th- I think I think personally Harlem will leave first so you know, that's that. But the question is, what club do you think they'll join next, realistically? Oh, and we'll go to Man City. You think? And I think Mbappe will go to Madrid. Yeah. Mm. I, 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 it I, breaks I, I, my heart. It breaks my heart, but it's looking like really more, more likely with the needs of um, Aguero, maybe leaving Man City this summer. I, I think Man City will pull the club in, getting probably one of the, the greatest... Score scoring talents of his generation, and also you got to the fact that Haaland, obviously his dad used to play for City as well, oh, so that, that might be a bit of a benefit. Yeah. Good evening, everybody. A pleasure and a privilege as always to be at Anfield, where we are hoping for another miracle like Istanbul. Shakiri in his own half rolls it square towards Matin. Celebrating. The party really is just getting started. I've had to wait a very long time.